So, how many of you guys remember Hurricane Katrina by a raise of hands? Uh, Stephanie, could you tell me maybe something you remember from it? Um, I remember that Kanye West went hard <laughs> against George Bush. Okay, uh, anyone else would like to share something about Hurricane Katrina? Ryan? <laughs> Nathan. It was uh, much larger in like uh, space than most hurricanes, and I believe it was Category 5. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, um, what if I told you guys that there was another hurricane just as bad? Close to as bad. Uh, a storm that traveled 3,000 miles. A storm that closed close to 3,000 flights. A storm that is killing over a thousand people and counting. A vicious, disastrous, menacing hurricane where of its type in the month of October hadn't been seen in over half a decade. Hurricane Matthew. It started as a tropical wave off the coast of Africa and uh, it intensified immediately when it hit the east coast of the Caribbean. It peaked its intensity between September 30th and October 1st as a Category 5 hurricane at uh, 160 miles per hour. That's 257 kilometers an hour. How many of you guys scare yourselves sometimes when you pass someone on the highway and just over 100? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it was the first Category 5 hurricane in the Atlantic since 2007. Uh, National Hurricane Center said that it was the first Category 4 landfall in Haiti since 1964 over a decade. Uh, Wednesday the 5th, Governor Nathan Deal of Georgia, he announced the mandatory evacuation of the whole coast of the state of Georgia, and that hadn't been done in 17 years. So uh, following that Thursday 6th is when uh, the coast swarmed the coast, sorry, the hurricane swarmed the coast of Florida uh, after tearing up the Caribbean. Uh, meanwhile, over in Haiti, there were already counted over a thousand dead. There, the ground was scattered with bodies decomposing, and they had to start mass burials with the concern of the spread of cholera. Following that, Daytona Beach, you might have heard, heard of it. It's one of the most famous beaches in, beaches in the U.S. Uh, it has the, a NASCAR speedway with the annual Daytona 500, has huge carnival parks. It was stormed by walls of water, absolutely wiping away million dollar beach homes, deteriorating them, and uh, much more than that. By Friday, there was over 300,000 homes and businesses in Florida that had lost all their power. CNN's meteorologist Allison Chinchar said, Matthews is the longest lasting category four and five hurricane in the month of October since record keeping began more than 50 years ago. Matthew held maximum sustained winds of at least 130 miles per hour for over four days straight. That is unusual in, in October because the water is typically pretty cool. She also said the reason it lasted so long is because it avoided as much land as it possibly could. Elevation is usually a huge storm killer. The fact that it never touched down on a big landmass or high eleva elevation is why it maintained its intensity. So with all the science behind it put aside, Hurricane Matthew took away over a thousand lives and the count is still going up. It is, po it is impossible to account for all the damage done so far in the Caribbean, in the US. So uh, how can you help is an important question that I think we all, all over the world can ask ourselves. Here's a few options. You can make donations um, at redcross.org. If you call 1-800-RED-CROSS, you can actually donate to specific people that you know, possibly. Um, a couple other organizations are the Southern Baptist Disaster Relief, as well as Salvation Army. You can donate through them. You can contact and find ways to help. So 
I'm going to ask you guys again, by a raise of hands, how many of you remember Hurricane Katrina? So, all of you. How many of you will never forget Hurricane Matthew? All of you again. So, to conclude, I just want to say, it's hard to grasp that this is a real current event. And even through all my research and gathering my information for this, it was hard for me to understand that this is actually happening right now to real people and it is affecting so many lives. Uh, it's incredible how many lives it's affected so far. And I can say without a doubt that anyone who has experienced it firsthand will never make a full recovery. Thank you.